Since our bodies are made up of 70% water, this requires us to drink roughly 2 to 3 liters of water a day. Raw water is not always readily safe, so you might wonder what exactly in the water makes it unsafe for drinking. How can we remove contaminants from water and how safe is treated water? Roughly a quarter of the world population does not have readily access to clean drinking water, yet a majority of the remaining population have very easy access to clean drinking water. This picture simplifies what to expect unsafe water to look like and how it becomes after treating. Water is treated to remove any present impurities that may cause diseases or reduce the quality of water. Raw water generally contains suspended solids, algae, viruses, excess minerals and fertilizers. For a water treatment method to be effective, it has to remove all disease causing agents and as a result reduce possible outbreaks of waterborne diseases. When we look at a sample of untreated water, we find four common contaminants. These are protozoa, bacteria, viruses, and heavy metals. The most common symptom related to waterborne diseases is diarrhea with an estimated 1.8 million deaths annually, as cited by the World Health Organization in 2005. Dairy can be caused by a majority of these contaminants and is sometimes a sign of a more serious infection. Household water treatments aims to remove these contaminants. This can be accomplished by various techniques. Four of the most common techniques are chlorination, biosand, ceramic filtration and a combination of flocculation and chlorination. The water filters have varying degrees of effectiveness and are chosen according to what contaminants the raw water consists of. When we treat raw water with chlorine, we observe that it is highly effective against bacteria and is capable of eliminating three quarters of viruses and protozoa. Biosand, ceramic filtration and the combination of flocculation and chlorination are theoretically highly effective against the three biological components. Outside the lab, however, biosand and ceramic filters have unknown effectiveness against viruses. After treatment, we notice that all these water treatments are ineffective against chemicals and heavy metals. The biosand water filter is one of the oldest water filters. It is a modification of the 200-year-old slow sand filter and benefits 4 million people as of 2013. We are going to discuss the biosand water filter in particular due to its high effectiveness against the majority of pathogens. The biosand water filter is a cuboidly shaped system that contains layers of sand and microorganisms that kill off pathogens and remove suspended solids. During filtration, the lid must be closed to prevent dust and contamination. The, the water first passes into a diffuser plate that protects the biosand layer from high-speed water being poured into it. This is followed by a biosand layer containing a group of beneficial microorganisms that prey on the pathogens. A layer of sand follows which has some of the microorganisms that still kill off the pathogens and filter off suspended solids. Then there are two layers of gravel at different sizes that support the layers above them and prevent sand from draining through the outlet tube. The water then passes up the tap into a container due to its potential energy where the user can drink the clean water immediately or store the water. When the water passes down through the biosand and fine sand layers, there are four processes which eliminate off the pathogens. Pathogen elimination occurs mostly by the microorganisms in the biosand layer that prey on the pathogens. This process is called predation. This mainly occurs at the uppermost layer. Pathogens can get stopped by two methods. They either get trapped while flowing down or they stick to the sand particles by adsorption. This happens due to static electricity naturally occurring in the sand. These assist predation and the next point, natural death. This process occurs after the contaminants drain their lifespan stuck in the filter with no nutrients. The biosand water filter is very effective as the filtrate has been largely eliminated of most contaminants. The biosand filter is also unique in the aspect that it combines biological and physical treatment. Not only does it remove biological contaminants, but it greatly reduces turbidity and iron presence. This removes the unclean water taste from the water. 
It is also very easy to operate as water just needs to be added to the filter. No further op operation is required. Unfortunately, the biosound filter is not 100% effective against all contaminants. As in the real world, some contaminants such as viruses may pass through the filter unaffected. The filter itself is very heavy. This makes it susceptible to cracking due to inefficient transport. And finally, despite the biosound filter's effectiveness at removing turbidity, highly turbid water can unfortunately clog this filter. If the user decides to store the water, it is important that they make sure the container is safe. Other than having the container cleaned thoroughly before storage, it has to have a lid which prevents dust and insects from entering, and a tap so that the water can be withdrawn for later use without having to open the lid and possibly contaminating the water. If water were to become a SARS resource, this would have been a route of providing a source of clean water. If you have any questions in regards to water filtration, please feel free to comment. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and share it if you found it interesting. Thank you for listening and stay hydrated.